Hello. What can I do for you today? I got a reminder that Adam is due for his meningitis shot. I thought he already had gotten one when he was 11. The same day he received a tetanus shot and also one for HPV. You are right. Teenagers need two doses of the meningitis vaccine. The first one is given at 11 years old, and the second one is given when you turn 16. Why does he need a second dose if he already received one at 11? The CDC recommends a second dose because protection from the vaccine wears off after about five years. Teens are at increased risk for catching meningitis because of things they often do, like sharing water bottles and living in dorms and kissing. My friend showed me a video on YouTube about all the bad things that happen when you get vaccines. He said he's never getting another one again. There is a lot of information on the internet about vaccines. Unfortunately, not all of it is true. Vaccines are safe, and they are there to help protect you against diseases. But there are some side effects. The most common cause of reaction from the meningitis vaccine is an area of soreness in the arm where the shot was given, and sometimes the shot can cause a mild fever. So is Adam also going to get the new meningitis vaccine I saw on the news, the B kind? The meningitis B vaccine is recommended by the CDC for certain groups of people who are at increased risk during outbreaks of a specific type of meningitis, specifically serogroup B meningococcal disease. For example, students on college campuses that have experienced outbreaks of serogroup B meningitis are recommended to receive the meningitis B vaccine. Thank you, doctor. For today, let's get Adam all the CDC recommended vaccines that he needs. Sounds good. Oh, and Adam, if you and your mom want to check out information on the internet about vaccines, try the CDC website. It's got videos, handouts, and information you can trust. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be right back.